All right, so continuing uh, from uh, part one, this is part two lesson. Uh, so we will talk about the orientation of an object or on other programs, it's called uh, the pivot point or the point of rotation and uh, why we need to know how to, uh, to change its position and location and why we will eventually need this information later on in parenting uh, because uh, each object will only have, can only have one uh, orientation or point of rotation and it kind of limits of what you can do to the car, okay? Or to the object, no, we're just using a car here. Um, so uh, with parenting, then of course, you'll be able to have another uh, pivot point uh, for that, uh, for that uh, animation, okay? So let's take a look. Um, the pivot point uh, for this car is I set up at the bottom, so you can see right there. Each time you click it in object mode, um, and turn on, let's say, one of the transform tool, you can see that transform tools snap to the location of the point of rotation, okay? This one is in the center, so it snaps in the center right there, okay? So that simply means that I can, if I go to the front right here, okay, and I go to my rotation, and I go to the z-axis, or here, uh, sorry, y-axis, I can then rotate the car going this way. Z can spin it. X it can go like a wheelie. Okay. The problem is though if I wanted to tilt this car on the wheels right there, you can't not unless you know parenting first. Okay. So we'll get into that one in uh, the next lesson is that we will always rotate here in the center. So knowing how to change the orientation of uh, or the pivot point or point of rotation of an object then you'll be able to animate it uh, where it needs to be, okay? So first is how do we access that? So we go to, you have to be in object mode and then go to object, then you see it here, it's called the origin, okay? So uh, the origin is the pivot point or the point of rotation of an object, okay? And we have a few choices right here. Uh, we have origin to geometry, meaning it will center itself okay so if i click this car the orientation or the origin is right here okay so um if we wanted this to do uh, well blender will take into account all the parts of the model and then it will center it in the center right here okay uh, we can go to object set origin origin to geometry okay when we do that so you can see it jump right here not exactly uh, visually centered but uh, it takes the uh, all the measurements of this one and then it will gauge where is the center mass of the object okay so if you have missing parts on this one it'll move it a little bit before and back but pretty much right there okay not visually centered that's how you would want it that's where you need to know how to do it manually but there you go we were able to change that okay another thing that the set origin can do is the opposite you can make the geometry to origin okay so uh, the geometry then uh, will uh, set itself to where the origin is which is at the center it's not going to work on this one because we already move it to the center but this one it will because it's at the bottom right so if i go to object set or, uh, geometry to origin as you can see it centered the car to the to the origin so it's basically the opposite. So instead of the origin snapping to the center of the object, the object goes toward the orientation of the uh, origin is. Okay, so that's object, set origin, origin to geometry, the pivot point goes to the center of the geometry, geometry to origin, the object or the model centers itself to the position of the origin. Okay, so this one, the, op, the model moves, this one, the origin moves, okay? So the next one right here would be origin to center of mass on surface, okay? So if I click this, uh, let me uh, click undo on this one first and that one so that they go back to where they were, okay? So at the bottom right there, so if we click on set origin to center of mass surface, okay? Uh, and then this one right here, we're going to set origin to geometry 
you can kind of tell if I go to one right here. Uh, this one visually, uh, it will center itself um, uh, based on surface, okay? This one, again, it will measure everything and uh, because sometimes you have uh, an object, let's say, protruding right here, right? So it has an exhaust. That gets into consideration where the center is, okay? Uh, or part of the, uh, because it's part of the object, okay? And then it will find a happy median where that is. This one will always just take into consideration the surface. So visually, it will center itself right here, okay? And then last one right here is the set origin um, to center of mass on volume. So this is will take everything that's part of the model, uh, regardless how many objects are kind of sticking. So it will look exactly like the other one because they're the same object, okay? Uh, but however, let's say if we have, uh, let me just click, uh, right here go to the front let's do some modeling on this one let's kind of ruin this one i'm going to select that and extrude all right then we'll take part of the tires right here and extrude it also as you can see here not the same object anymore but once we click on set origin to the mass okay so it takes it in uh, not as the surface but what the volume of the extrusion or the model is okay so because when uh, we change this to the surface you can see the difference right here it moved a little bit over there because it's now taking into account just the surface just the outside okay so those are the uh, five different ways to uh, set the origin but what we need here really uh, for for simplicity's sake, kind of when we explain the transform orientation, will just be on global and local. On setting origin, you're most likely just going to be on origin to geometry and origin to 3D cursor. Okay, so now this is just uh, the, the uh, origin just snapping to mostly the center of the object. That's basically what it is, or the object positioning the center of the existing uh, origin okay so what we really want to do is uh, we want to be custom uh, we want to position the origin at a custom location okay so right here uh, let's do the parent car let's say we want to rotate this along the y-axis and we want to rotate it on this tire so that it can do like a tilt just on the uh, right side tires okay so how can we do that? So let's do our edit mode. Let's go to our edit mode and then um, let me just, just select this car for now. So I'm going to press the uh, uh, forward slash right there so it hides everything except this car. Okay, so we're going to go to our, uh, to our uh, edit mode and I'm going to select the edge, that edge and that edge right there. Okay, so I got those both selected. Okay. And the thing is, once we go to uh, our um, to our mesh right here, we're not seeing the uh, we're not seeing the uh, origin option here. Okay, all we have is uh, not unless they add a new one. Let me just check real quick. As far as I know, it's not there, so we can only snap. Okay, mesh and then snap. Uh, we can put our cursor to selected meaning the 3d cursor okay so if i click that so you can see the 3d cursor jump to the center um, location of the two selection there it is okay the other keyboard shortcut to do that is shift and s then you can go cursor to selected okay what happens then is once we go back to object mode we can select our origin now to the cursor so it jumps right there so now when we go to the front I can now rotate this car along that origin and not back to the center okay of course if we want it back to the center it's simple we just simply click set origin origin to geometry or origin to center mass then it's centered to the object okay so let's say we want to be able to do a wheelie on this one. 
we want to be able to go like so uh, x-axis but using the center of this wheel okay so that would be the same thing as before we go to edit mode we go to face mode right here I'm going to select uh, face mode I'm gonna do shift select that part of the wheel right there okay and you can go do it on both so you got uh, a center selection if you want to but one wheel would be fine okay um, right there because if it's on one wheel it kind of gives you more option with rotation but let's do it like before okay the next step is go to mesh okay and then snap cursor to select it or the other option is shift s cursor to select it then go to object mode Okay, and then you go set origin to 3D cursor. So now it's back to that. So when I do my rotation now, I can rotate it going this way along that wheel. Okay, so that's how we change our uh, origin or pivot point or point of rotation or simply uh, the uh, point of orientation of uh, object in blender okay uh, one last one uh, you want it on the roof for some reason select those while in edit mode go to mesh snap cursor to selected or shift s cursor to selected and then remember you can't have that set origin here you have to go to object mode Okay, object mode, then object, set origin to 3D cursor. Now the orientation is on the roof. Okay.